Hello and welcome to another Ganguru tutorial. Um, this one is based on the scripting one from last time. Uh, I'm just going to show you a couple of things um, so you can use more than one at once. So I'll just load it up. Okay, I'm in. I'll wait for this text to go. There we go. Look up to him. He says the same as before. Walk up to this one. And he turns to fascia. Because I didn't put that last time. I mentioned it, but I didn't put it in, so I thought I'd add it in this one. So when you get up close, he turns to fascia and he talks some different stuff. There we go. Right, so. Enter there. If I go into the properties of this first one, I've got Converse 2, which is just what I've called this particular one in him. I've got Converse 3 in that one. Um, I'll minimise it down so we can see it. Converse 2. Right, now, the difference between this and the original script is I've changed all of these to arrays. Or tables if you prefer, but I prefer to call them arrays. Um, so basically you set up your arrays there with this little equals and the squiggly brackets. Uh, then you can set up your values here. You don't have to all the time, but it's it's good practice to do it. Um, you'll see I've called it converse2 main, and I've had to save it as converse2.lua as well. That's because you have to save it as that name there has got to be the same name as what you call the Lua script, and you have to call the functions all the same. If you had an exit function, you'd have to call it converse2 exit underscore exit that sort of thing that's how you can have more than one script you can you can change it and have different text here um, and then I'll just show you the third one which basically just adds rotate to player E in here now you'll notice it's all the same um, but wherever the variables were before where stage and everything I've just basically made it an array and it's all Re relevant to the local entity E. So basically they won't interfere with each other and you can change the text to your heart's content and just apply different scripts to each one. You could write one big script that could take, you know, give different text for it but it gets a lot more complicated and this is just the easiest way to do it. So yeah, that's how you do it, just basically add the uh, square brackets and E at the end of all the um, variables from last time add that bit in at the start uh, and you'll be away and you just make sure you just change the name of the actual script and you'll be away and you can just do as much as you want and obviously you can add more stages to that so you can say different things you can make it so it looks like you're talking to him as well if you wanted to um, options I might put in but that gets a bit more complicated then so yeah um, hopefully that'll help you out and until next time, I'll catch you later.